Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a charity shop and eBay haul for you. This is quite a big haul. Um, in case you didn't know, I actually work in charity shops, so the majority of the stuff is from my shop. The rest are from other shops. So. But I'm just gonna delve in and it's all kind of in a mess, so you might have eBay, charity shop, eBay, random kind of stuff, but yeah, okay. I'm just gonna go straight in and this is a try on haul so if you stay till the end you get to see what these clothes look like on. Um, I haven't ironed them or washed any of them yet so um, I've been waiting to do that till after I film the video so they're probably all creased up so I apologise for that. Okay the first thing I got was from Oxfam, it was $3.99 and it's actually a brand new top from New Look, uh, it was $9.99 in New Look. It's a stripy crop top, quite a loose crop top, and it's got quite wide sleeves on it as well. Really simple, really cool. So yeah. This next thing I got from my shop, I actually think it's the same top, just in a different thing. It's from New Look, and it's a really similar, actually it's not cropped, but it's got the same sleeves, the same kind of wide sleeves. It's just really gorgeous, like pinky orange colour, really just like a casual t-shirt kind of thing. These I got from uh, my shop, these are just from Primark, they're skinny, kind of like thick leggings, I think they're called treggings aren't they? They're black, um, yeah, just really simple, just to wear to work, just, yeah. One of my favourite things I got, this is from my shop. It doesn't actually have a brand anywhere and it hasn't got any labels anywhere and it's this little crop top with sunflowers on and at the back it's got a cool kind of back detail on it with a, like a strap that goes across there but I just thought that was really really cute for the summertime. I got this skirt from my shop, it's from a brand called Bebo, that's not Bebo like the social media website from the from like 2003. I think it might be from Matalan, but I'm not sure. It's a suede skirt anyway. Uh, it's got pockets on the front, it's a mini skirt. I think it, this is the front, but now I'm not sure because this split thing normally goes at the back, doesn't it? And you would have two things at the back, but the zip's at the front, so it's kind of confusing. And the label's at the front, I don't know. How do you think you would wear this? Pockets at the front, or pockets at the back that zip at the front, I don't know. Anyway, there's a suede skirt. Sticking in the skirt theme, I got this, I got this denim button down skirt, which I'm just doing up because I've tried it on. I, uh, where did I get this from? I got this from PDSA for 2 dollars and it's quite an on-trend kind of skirt. It's just a denim button down mini, it's kind of A-line, and yeah, this is from New Look, Yes Yes Jeans, which is New Look. From eBay, I won this really cool dress. This is from H&M, The Conscious Collection. And it's grey and black, and it's so cool. So the bottom is like chiffon, and then you've got a like pleather, or leather, I'm not sure what you call leather, panel here, and then suede here, leather here, chiffon, suede. It's just a really cool dress. Um, probably not doing it much justice now, but you can see when I try it on later in the video. From my shop, I got these two t-shirts. They're exactly the same. They're just really basic t-shirts. They're from Select. I've got this white one with black uh, details around the neck. And then I got this top, which is the exact same top, just in a dark grey colour. The next top I got was from Demelza. It's uh, from Topshop and it was originally £2.75 reduced to £1 and it's uh, actually from the petite section but that's fine. It's a blue little vest top with scalloped edging, it's really really cute, really lovely colour. Yeah, just a really simple little top. From Scope, I got this Zara cardigan for £3.25. It's just a white cardigan. I wore white cardigans a lot last summer, but I didn't actually own one. I was using my mum's, so I now have my own, although it is a tiny bit of a dirty mark on it. 
Um, yeah, it's a little bit small because it is a size small, which I'm not a small, I'm probably like a medium. But it's fine if I don't do it up, which I generally don't do up cardigans anyway, so it's okay. I got, from my shop I got this top. I never know how you pronounce this. Is it monkey or monkey? I don't know, I feel a bit silly saying monkey. But yeah, it's from there and it's an orange, really sh like lightweight crop top, long sleeves. It's kind of like see-through. Very, very orange. I'm not sure if it's going to suit you or not. And then that's what it looks like at the back. This top looks really bad on me. It's really screwed up as well. It's from Monsoon. It's a UK size 18, which um, if you don't know UK sizing is uh, how many sizes bigger than me? It's four sizes bigger than me, so it's quite big. Um, but I just really liked the colour. It's from Monsoon. And yeah, I'm really into this kind of light pink colour at the moment, so I don't know if that's going to look alright because I tried it on and it looked a bit weird because it was so big. Some stuff you can wear oversized, but then some things, just the way they're cut, don't really work as well. Another thing from my shop is this little summer dress from Dorothy Perkins. It's just a jersey floral dress. It's actually a bit longer than I would normally wear, so um, maybe I'll wear it to work. It's not that long in most people's standards, but I'm a bit funny about how things sit on me. I either want it really short or mega long because I find that like, I couldn't wear anything midi, for example. I just think that just doesn't suit me. Uh, from my shop, I got this Kath Kidston cooking apron, which is just so cute. It's just a pink like floral one. And my mum's got a blue Kath Kidston apron, so we can bake together and match. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was so, so cute. Love it. Uh, just a couple of random things. I got some L plates from my shop because they were only 99p and I'm trying to persuade my dad to let me have a go in his car, see how I like it or not. So obviously I would need L plates to do that. Uh, this is Sarah Jessica Parker Perfume uh, called NYC. I hate the packaging, um, but I love the smell. It's not all, even all there, it's really like down to there, but I just love the smell so much I had to buy it. I can't even describe what smell it's like, but it's just really, really nice. Wrap this all up because I'm scared it's going to explode. This was from Sco, and this is the Urban Decay Blackberry Sparkly Sweet Body Powder You Can Lick, apparently. Um, this was £1.50. Um, I didn't even know what it was, I just bought it because it was Urban Decay and it was next to the till and it was £1.50. So. Yeah, so it looks like this. It's got a little cute thing on top, and I think it's literally just like a body shimmer that's probably gonna go everywhere. Yeah, it's got a little puffer in there. Yeah, I'll probably never use it, but <laughs> yeah. Um, in what shops did I get these from? In Demelza, I got these boots for four twenty-five. These are from Truffle. They're really really cool. Um. Yeah, the thing with boots and charity shops, well, the, the thing with shoes and charity shops is you will very rarely find a good pair of shoes in your size. Um, when you do, you should just buy them no matter what. Don't even think about it. Even if they're 20 quid, if you like them, get them because it's a very rare occurrence. I've worked in a charity shop for just coming up to two and a half years. In that time, I have bought a hell of a lot of clothes and only about five pairs of shoes. So it really is a rare occurrence to find nice shoes in your size. Um, in my experience, the best shoes are always in a size 3 or a size 8. So, yeah, pretty weird. But, yeah, I love these boots. They're really cool. I did manage to get another pair of shoes from my shop. I got these black trainers. I'm really, really into trainers at the moment. These have got a wedge in them, which I know is, like, so a few years ago. But I just thought they were cool. Uh, it's quite a subtle wedge as well. Um, I don't know what brand they're from because I can't make it out, they're kind of worn. But they're just just a pair of trainers. That's pretty much it really. I got something really cool from my shop. Uh, I was very lucky to find a Ted Baker bag. Um, the only thing wrong with it is that the R has come off Baker, so it says Ted Bake. Um, it is a real bag, a real Ted Baker bag though. Um, 
But yeah, I've been looking on eBay to find ones that have that same embossment on it that I could take it, like buy that bag, take it off and put it on mine. But it doesn't bother me too much either way, but it's such a cute bag. It's got like a gold bow on it. The lining has got little dogs inside. It's so cute and it's like just a really perfect little bag. You can just carry it like in the crook of your arm like that. And it fits all my like essential things in for work and all those kind of things. So yeah, that was such a good find for me. I was so pleased when I found that. The next thing I got from my shop, which has a really unpredictable zip on it. It keeps getting caught in the fabric. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it for now and keep it undone. But it's this skirt from Zara. It's just a white kind of crocheted skirt. And when the zip works, it looks really nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the zip is kind of bust. And there's not a lot that can be done about it. So I may have to take that back to work. From Oxfam for 3 dollars I got this Marks and Spencers kind of kimono thing. Hold on, the sleeves are inside now. It's not really a kimono, but I don't know what else to call it. Open cardigan? I don't know. So it's a kind of winey colour with cream flowers on and it's just a really pretty thing to throw on in the springtime. Yeah. I can just throw that on and go to work and Bob's your uncle. It's just a really easy outfit. Another kind of kimono-y thing I got, which I really, really like, is this. It doesn't actually have a brand anywhere in it. It's just a really light and see-through paisley kimono. It's kind of purpley and green in there. And it's really hard to show because it is very see-through, but it's really, really pretty. Uh, okay, a few things from eBay. Uh, for, you, for those of you who aren't familiar, you can buy really cheap clothes from Asian uh, eBay sellers. They're generally from China. And it's just really cheap clothes. Um, you can tell they're cheap most of the time, like they're not very well made, but they're literally like just a few quid. And most of the time it's free postage as well. So um, if you're happy to wait like, so if you're happy to wait like two to four weeks for your items to arrive, then it's a really good way to get some bargains. So I got these uh, things from eBay sellers. I can link these down in the description probably if they're still available online. This is the first thing I got. It's a white crop top with crochet detailing at the bottom. As I said earlier, they're not particularly well made. Like this has like got loose threads and stuff, but I literally paid, I don't know, like three or four quid for this, so it's kind of to be expected. But it's just it is a really nice top though, apart from the fraying. This next one's going to be really hard to show, um, or maybe not, I don't know. So it's a black crop top, quite see-through, looking at it on the camera. <laughs> on the back it's got a kind of crisscross back. Yeah, it looks like that. Not really much to say about that. This next one's really cute, it's just a black vest. Where's it go? Just a black vest, and then on the back, which you I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's got a heart cut out on the back. I don't know how well you can see that, but you'll see it in the try on e section later. Really cute though. So from eBay I got this giant kimono thing. This is the easiest way to show you probably. It's just black with a white pattern that goes all through it and it is really, really big. So hopefully you'll be able to see that a bit better when I try it on. Next, which is, this is also from Marks and Spencers, it's really weird. From charity shops, I get a lot of Marks and Spencers clothes, but I never look in Marks and Spencers when I go shopping. Uh, this is from the M&S Indigo collection, and it's these kind of paisley trousers, which I thought would be really nice for the summer. They're kind of, sh not like crop, but they're a bit shorter than the average trouser. I think they're high-waisted because they do look kind of high-waisted. But yeah, I thought they were really nice. It's from H&M and it's just a kind of really loose dress. It's very see-through though. But I thought it was kind of like festival-y, kind of boho-y. It's got some buttons on the back. I just thought it was really cute just to throw on over maybe a pair of shorts or something. And the very last thing I got was a nail varnish. This is from Avon. It's a kind of nudie pink colour and 
I love Avon nail varnishes, they are really, really good, so whenever I see them at work, I always get them. That is actually everything in my haul, there was a lot of stuff there, um, but we made it through that together. Uh, don't forget to stay to the end to see me try on those clothes, and yeah, that is everything I have to say, I think. Thank you so much for watching, uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more charity shop hauls, because I basically live in a charity shop, so I'm always buying stuff, so... All my links will be in the description for my social medias and I think that's everything. I will see you in my next video. Bye!